Hi guys, welcome to the squad builder. This is an uh, absolutely, once you've finished, I've finished the team, you will see how much of an awesome team this is. It's probably the best team I've ever had on FIFA in any of my years on FIFA. So yeah, this is a really nice squad and hopefully I will be doing more of these squad builders because they are quite fun to do. But first up, you can see a bar me goal. Can you guess who this is? I've got upgraded newer, um, a brilliant pair to have, some brilliant stats. Um, if I can get you look at them, uh, 92 dive in, 92 kick in and kick in, you can all guess from that work up that amazing kick he did straight on him in a closer giving um giving Germany the one 0 lead. Um his reflex is really good as well, eighty eight positioning in and hand in are okay, eighty two for a but for overall that's pretty good to be honest. At left back, um this guy's got one hell of a shot. Um and you'll see why in a second. It's Panda, this guy, if you want he's he's probably one of the best um shooting left backs you're gonna get on the game. He has got incredible shooting stats, and I think he's got like 99 shots or something like that. I can't remember specifically, but he's got an absolute rifle of a shot. And if you watch any video on YouTube with the, who can shoot a guy who can shoot with him, you'll see that he does score goals. Anyway, our next one we got a, a Borussia Dortmund centre back. Um, he's German, and as Hummels as you could probably guess. A brilliant player, and if he's not in the Euro squad, I'll be very surprised. I think Borussia Dortmund have won the league now. They've won it this season, two seasons running now, so absolutely brilliant from the, for them. And then our other centre back is played for Werder Bremen. He's not German though. Um, you can probably guess who it is. Super informed now. Just look at that 79 pace. He's like six foot five, which is outrageous. And then he's got a 75 pass, which is really good. His end's not the best, but when he's six foot five. He's just going to have to clear the ball, so it's not going to really matter that much. 90 defender, which is really good, but the 82 shooting is just incredible, to be honest. For a centre-back as well, so brilliant. If you've got him on the halfway line, you want to shoot a 40-yarder. And then you've got Lam at right-back. He does not play in there. You can probably guess it was going to be Lam. He's about the only good right-back in the league. Uh, so, yeah, 85, pa 85 pace, 85 driven, 85 pass, and so pretty good stuff there. Um... Then at centre mid, this is going to be a bit controversial because um, you want to be able to see him. So the, the so I've got two players who are German and play for Bayern Munich in centre mid, and these are my two centre mids. Um, we've got Bastian Schweinsteiger, team of the year, and and um, obviously Thomas Müller converted to centre mid. Um, so we'll put in there first. So yeah, that's brilliant. They link up there, and then secondly, we'll go for the same one again. And that's Bastian Schweinsteiger, probably one of the best players in the episode. Absolutely brilliant team in the air. Some great stats there. And then for our third one, you might be able to guess who he is. Um, Japan centre mid. And Kagawa, look at that. That's some crazy. 90 shot, 92 driven, 89 pass, 89 pace. That is just incredible stats. I mean, he's one of the best centre mids I've seen. He's a beautiful player to play with. And then at left wing, we've got an absolutely insane player. Um... And you see, I've put F in, you'll see who it is. French left wing. We've got super informed Ribery. Absolutely brilliant player to have. 97 dribbling, 94 pace. I was absolutely loving it when I got him. I got him quite cheap as well. I picked him up for about 265,000. So I was really liking that. And it was in the right formation as well. So I was especially loving that. And at right wing, you can probably guess when I put N in. Who we've got? Oh, God. <laughs> you can guess. we got Rob N. Picked him up for around 175,000. That was a nice deal. And then to end the episode, uh, end the episode, um, to end the, the start and 11, I've done a bench. Um, we have got Podolski, as you can see. We've got Gomez there. He'll be on the bench. Obviously, it's pretty standard for him. But there's the start and 11. He's got 99 chemistry, so we'll have nine chemistry. So that's really nice to have. And then on the bench, we have we might as well start with close as soon as you've already seen him. Uh, yeah, it's strike it's got on there. Oh god, what's happened there? Oh, I did one goal whoops, I pressed the wrong one, that's my bad guys. Um yeah, there's Gomez sticking straight in the squad. Nice decent player I have. His stats isn't as as good as you'd think they would for an eighty six, but there you go, what can you do, eh? And then we'll go for the goalkeeper next. Um this guy, I had him in my trade in my inform series, um, wrote, like where I bought a player each episode, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we are some absolute instinct that I just love his 94 reflex. That's why we bought him. He's a brilliant player to have. 
And up next we've got a uh, centre midfielder. Um, we'll be putting in the team, Bayern Munich. You'll see now his team of the year, Gustavo, come out last week. Absolute brilliant player to have, and um, certainly I, I enjoy ha I enjoy him having the team. Um, some just solid stats. He can't shoot for Toffee though. That's a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, then after that, I'm trying to think of the players I've got now. <laughs> um, oh yes, right wing. We have um, plays for Schalke. So you might be able to guess from that that we have team of the year far fan. Decided not to change his formation. Didn't really matter too much. I mean, he's a really good player to have. And some outstanding stats there. So yeah, two we've got three team of the years in this team already. And then we have a right back to back up for Lamb. And this guy is Pishek. Um really good stats to be honest. He's pretty good to cover and he's got the same pace as Lamb, so it's not too much of a difference when you put him in the team. So it's pretty good to be honest. And then we have two centre backs um to finish off the squad. First up Russia Dortmund one and this has just come out in the last two days. Um well these two are my last two centre backs. I forgot that they put a Santana plays for him. But Super Titch come out on Wednesday so that was really nice. And then um obviously last one up is uh, Felipe Santana cause just because of his shooting stats 80 shot for a centre back um, if I decided to put Naldo and um, him at centre back that would be brilliant he's also got 80 pace which is really good but uh, Subtich was one of my favourite players last year I found it really hard to break down the the, the Borussia Dortmund defence but look at that 86 overall that is absolutely brilliant I mean, you can also just stick a manager in there just to get the, to the actual 186 which did my um, the, uh, uh, Blanc and um, that team is complete so yeah cheers guys for watching the video and hopefully you enjoyed I'll do more squad builders as well I've got one in mind especially now I'll probably start after I've decided to sell this team um, I will certainly um, get a video up on that anyway cheers guys